Hi, this is Sherry Collier from Sunny Girl Creations. Today's video I'm going to teach you how to make a leaf wrapped posy, which looks something like this. And before we get started, I'm just going to go over the supplies that you'll need. So the first thing that you'll need is the inside of a paper towel roll or toilet paper roll. And you'll need a box cutter and a pair of scissors. And that is how uh, both the box cutter and the scissors is what I use to trim it to about two inches tall. Then you'll need these little styrofoam balls that are used for florals. And I took the styrofoam ball and I cut it in half, just like this. And I had to uh, glue a little pipe cleaner around the very rim because it was too small and it needed something to beef it up so that it would take up the bottom, fill up the bottom of the paper towel roll when I glued it in the, the base. Then you'll need wire cutters to cut your silk flowers. And I used clear gel tacky glue. You could also use a hot glue gun. Um, and I just had a regular old table knife available and a clothespin available for holding the leaves onto the cardboard after they were glued. And then these silk flowers, I went with a kind of a bright color and a creamy color. And of course you'll need the leaves. So you can get a bunch of leaves. Just make sure that the leaves are wide enough to wrap around your cardboard cylinder. So that is, that, those are the supplies that you'll need before we get started. We'll get started here in just a minute. First step is to take your styrofoam ball and cut it in half. And I just used kind of a steak knife to cut it in half. Then the second step that I did is I took a pipe cleaner and I glued it around the edges of it so that it would beef up, beef it up so that it would fit in here um, nice and snug. So I'm just going to take some tacky glue and put glue on the outside of the pipe cleaner. And then pop that into the base. I'm just pushing that down as far as it'll go. Okay, now we'll let that dry. Okay, so now that we have um, the half a styrofoam ball firmly glued into the base of the cardboard cylinder, I'm going to go ahead and cut um, a silk leaf with the wire trimmers and that'll be the first leaf that will wrap around and glue and after this leaf there will be a second leaf let me pick a nice wide leaf I think that one looks nice and wide okay and so the first leaf here, I kind of pre-curl it a little bit to help it along. And then we'll just take our glue and go along the spine of the, the plastic spine of the leaf all the way to the tip. And then I'll put just a couple of drops on the outside of the fabric part of the leaf. And we'll start by just wrapping that around as tightly as we can. And then to hold it in place to let it dry, I've been using a clothespin. Might need more than one, but I think it looks like one's going to do the job. 
So now we'll let that dry before we put the second leaf on. Okay, so now it's time to put the second leaf on. And you'll see that there's a lot of cardboard still showing, so this is the side where the, the fattest part of the leaf will cover. So I'm going to go ahead and get my glue on, again, kind of the spine of the inside of the leaf. And I'll put a couple of drops on the fabric of the leaf along different points here. <clears throat> Move my clip. Wrap this around. Wrap that around. And you can still move things a little bit while the glue's not quite fully dry. And now we'll let that dry before we go on to our next step. This is the tricky part is getting this in just the right spot. Okay, that's where I want it. shorten the, or we'll make the little bows much, much smaller. And we'll snip the ends. And then we're ready to start our next step, which I'll show you in this one. And we'll take one, the cream, And I'm just going to measure it to make sure that it's not too tall. <clears throat> and we'll get one of these. And that's a little bit too tall. I want it to be just barely on the lip here. So let's see. There. And you just stab it into the styrofoam. Stab that one in behind it, and voila! Now we have two done. Put them here to finish drying. When I'm done with the third one, you can have an arrangement of all three in the middle of your table, or you can just have one at each place setting around the table. That's it. Hope you've enjoyed the leaf-wrapped posy. See you later.